Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video uh, which is the uh, February Young Adult uh, Bookish Box box. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second because I was like wait what month are we on or like what month is being sent out so um, I'm no longer a subscriber for Bookish Box. I still definitely keep an eye on their Instagram and like to purchase any like collections they release or things like that. Um, in fact, I do have an eye, my eye on a collection that's connected with the February adult box, which I'm still waiting for mine to ship. But right now I've got my young adult box, um, and everything. So we shall, you know, see when I get my February adult box, but here's the young adult one. So I'm excited about this one as well. Um, and like I said, this will be my last young adult one. And then the adult February one will be my first and last adult one for now. Um, I think I'm just trying to save money for Disneyland. So I had to cut down on spending, um, which it doesn't look like I am, but <laughs> from all of these haul videos I'm doing, but, um, I promise I, I definitely am. These are things that I've been, you know, waiting to arrive for a while. Uh, obviously the February box I got back, I ordered back in January, so... Uh, and at the time of me filming this, it is March 26th. So, yep. <laughs> Fun times. But here is the inside of the box. It's another, like, stand-up one, which is always nice. And then we have the February 22 little booklet here. And then I'm going to kind of pull out the wrapping paper stuff so that I can get into everything. So I'm going to pull everything out first before I um go into what it all is so that way we can get this box out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and pull him out here Ooh, things i'm trying not to look too hard at things or like really read the descriptions but I, oh i just saw something that's awesome okay so is that everything okay wait i'm gonna double check on <laughs> paper okay yes that was everything all right so all right so um this would be the free art print we'll find out who that is on there i think i know who that's supposed to be but not entirely sure um so yeah and then this is the book okay so the young adult box is the Stolen Hearts Club. So we'll flip this over. I wasn't reading the other page, I promise, for spoilers. Cause you know, I'm trying to like not have spoilers for, for this as well. And then we have, uh, so the book of the month is The Midnight Girls uh, by Alicia Jisenka. And that's her um, at Alicia MJA. And then The Wicked Deep meets House of Salt and Sorrows in his new standalone YA fantasy set in a snow cloaked kingdom where witches are burned and two enchantresses secretly compete for the heart of a prince, only to discover that they might be falling for each other. And then the inclusive edition details, and I'll go through that when I pull out the book. Um, but for our. Um, print. So this print is for the March YA theme. It's created by Natalie Bernard Art and it features Wrath from A Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. She's Kingdom of the Beard comes out so soon. I'm so excited. Um, but I'm so excited to have a Wrath. I love him so much. Um, flip the print over for a sneak peek into our March YA bookish body box. Okay, so now I'm kind of regretting not getting the March why a box because i didn't know it was going to have my man in here um so so here's a sneak peek as a morally gray book display oh that's cool or it might display your book like a work of art that's awesome but okay, I absolutely love this print. This is probably one of my favorites um, that we've gotten, that I've gotten so far in these. Like, ugh, he's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the book out though because it will describe the things. <gasps> Court of Dreams and Nightmares. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> 
Okay, it is a teacup set and I'm, I'm like so obsessed with drinking tea lately. So I'm like literally after this video going to be using this because I've been wanting tea this morning. So, um, absolutely stunning teacup saucer set inspired by a Kotar, a Court of Thorns and Roses, one of my favorite. Um, oh, it says here we go. Um, hand wash only care instructions. See if there's anything else in the box, but I love this box too. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Featuring Freya and Ryzan in the City of Starlight on one side and the Court of Nightmares on the other. It's um, Avondale Art. So there's the Avondale Art. Um, made our dreams come true with this artwork. Okay. Playing it out now. Okay. So here is the cup. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, they look so beautiful together there. And then, oh, her tattoos. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah, so you have, okay, so yeah, so they're in the Court of Nightmares there. And then this is when they're in um, City of Starlight. And his wings. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is so cute. This would be where I have to make myself like a pot of tea that I can keep pouring. Because this would not be enough tea for me to drink. But <laughs> I still, I love it. Like this is like a display piece too though. I don't know if I even want to use it actually. I think I want to just use it to display because like oh my gosh and look at this bowl the little our saucer it's a saucer right yeah that's what they're called not a bowl I don't know what I was thinking but like look at how beautiful like okay try to show you guys without breaking this thing but like it looks so amazing together and again like I love this. This is amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting something that cool. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to grab is a necklace. Ooh, it's like a little, okay, One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Watch necklace. Oh, I like that. That's unique too. Our team is so thrilled with how the necklace design came to life. The bookish shop created this with One Last Stop by Casey McColson in mind. We can't wait to see what you pair it with. Tag us on Instagram so we can see it. So this is based on a book. Um, of course, it's book stuff, book stuff, right? But this is so cute. I would go back in time and have a whole life and get old and never see you again. And you would still be it. You were, you are the love of my life. Oh, that's amazing. I love that quote. I want to like... Oh, there's... I could go back in time and you would still be it. Okay, so it just shortens that quote up. And then it's, it literally is like a time piece though. Like, you've got... I don't know how to open it. Or if you can open it. Can you open it? I don't know how this works. <laughs> There's a little like plastic piece in there. I'm wondering if you're supposed to pull it out. I don't know. I don't want to break it. It doesn't really tell you how to utilize this. It definitely opens. How do you open it? I'm trying to think like people with pocket watches when I've seen them on TV. <laughs> specifically uh watching season two of Bridgerton and then watching Anthony constantly take out his watch or mess with his watch has been interesting is it something to do with you you're definitely moving the time there so it is a real watch I'm just wondering like oh there we go okay it does come out okay so a little plastic piece came out Oops, throw that down there Okay, and then, but how do you open? I 
Because it definitely opens. I've never used a pocket watch ever before, can you tell? <laughs> I'm struggling, guys. Okay, it definitely looks like it was open. Ah! Oh, I don't want to mess it up, though. I don't know if it's, like, sealed shut somehow a little bit or something. But I definitely saw it lifting up a second ago. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here just like fiddling with this thing this whole time. I really want to make it open. <laughs> oh, how do you open? Open sesame. Or not open sesame? I swear it opens. I don't want to, like I said, mess it up or anything. Okay, there we go. All right, there's a little like latch here. So I'm wondering how you make that open without using what I just did. Do you press it and then it opens or just? So I, I definitely feel like this is more a deco piece than you're like gonna use this as a watch. <laughs> I want to pop it open again so I can look at the time. If I can get it, I don't know where I opened it last time. Oh, I shouldn't have closed it again, dang it. <laughs> no. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there's the inside. And then let's see, it's 324. So, 20, 25, so 24. And then normally you would press this to make it run. There we go. Okay. So there. We're set. It's a set clock. I don't know how you get it. I don't know if you have to use it a lot or like. Oh, okay. No, I see. That didn't make it start. So you press this down and that opens the watch. I'm I'm so dumb, guys. Wow. So yeah, you press on that and it opens the watch. See, I told you I have no idea about things like this. So yeah, you press the button and it opens the watch. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it is, it could be a functional watch if you use it appropriately and actually know how to use these things, but it's beautiful. I love it. I feel like this would be a really great cosplay item. I don't think I, it's pretty hefty. I don't think I would wear this like every day, but I think it'd be a good display piece on your bookshelf or a good cosplay item. If you're going to like, you know, maybe dress up old school or cosplay is maybe someone from this book one last stop. But I feel like I definitely want to watch or read this book, watch, read this book <laughs> now because it's, yeah, I feel like so intense. Well, I have so much intensity. Okay. So next we have, let's do the candle. We'll do the stuff listed on this first page first. So they're doing the Zodiac series of candles. So this one of course is Pisces and the character art on here is Avondale Art again. They're the same ones who did the teacup and saucer. So that's awesome. Uh, and this candle, the second candle in our new Luminary Zodiac candle collection. This Pisces candle label has artwork by Avondale Art featuring Kieran from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Enjoy scents of tobacco leaves and sandalwood when the wax lowers. The flickering flame will be extra celestial vibes through the label. So there you go, Pisces. And that's him on there. And the Pisces symbol. And so yeah, the light will come through the label and give it extra celestial vibes. And then it is a regular... Oh, they were doing wood wick candles before. So this is just like a regular wick um, I don't know what, cotton wick or whatever. Mmm, that smells good. I'm not really getting the tobacco. 
I'm getting kind of something kind of sweet, like the sandal one. But, oh, I like that. It's so good, though. Super cute little candle. Okay, and then next one. So, I'll do the book last. But we've got the shelf silhouette next. And I've been so excited about this. So, use this book shelf, sil book shelf silhouette designed by Cass Berry to enhance your bookshelf. Simply slide the flat metal piece in between your books and ta-da, your bookshelf now has stalking Jack the Reaper vibes. Okay, so this is another, I think stalking Jack the Reaper was a, a Carrie Maniscalco series as well. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure it was her series. So uh, the same that did um, Wrath, uh book of the wicked book of the feared um that's coming ne next um so yeah love that though it's super cool we'll definitely probably put this with my um wicked with my carrie my scholar books just because i feel like this theme goes with book of the wicked too honestly um so yeah, I love that idea. So yeah, you just like slide this in between the books and then this gets to stick out. So it's just like a silhouette sticking out in between the books to add some more uh, dimension to your bookshelf. I love that a lot. There were some other ones that I saw people had that I also really liked, so love. And then we have the last item. So I didn't get the shirt, of course. Um, Okay, so the Akodar and the and then something else are exclusively yeah, Kingdom of the Wicked. Okay. So yeah, so those are official licensed, uh, the cup is officially licensed. Um, or yeah, are officially licensed and everything. So then the this is the bookmark though. So okay, introducing the next dagger in our exclusive favorite fictional daggers and swords, metal bookmark collection designed by Cass Berry, at Cass Berry. This month's dagger bookmark features um, Alessandra's Dagger from The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. We love that these bookmarks are easily transformed into a prop for your book bookstagram photos. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. I like this one a lot. I liked the other one. It was, I think, Aragon based. But this one's gorgeous. Like, And I like that it's a lot smaller, so I could actually potentially use it. But the shadows between us on there a little like dingly piece and then the bookish box um typewriter and there too and then you've got the actual dagger and that is super cool really really like that okay so then last but certainly not least we have the book so i'm gonna flip this to there and set this guy out of the way and here is the book Okay, so uh, let's see. See what she looks like. Wow, that's really oh, that's really pretty. I do like that outside cover. Okay, so we have an exclusive cover by at Prentice Dead. I'll show you guys the list of their details in a second. The reversible dust jacket is by Fen Frey. So this is the reversible dust jacket. We'll start there. Oh my gosh, I love, I usually do just love the, without the covers. I'm usually just obsessed with the like regular hardcover of the book. Okay, so this is the exclusive, um, uh, what do I say? Reversible dust jacket. So this is a side, and then you have this side, and then you and I, we'd be unstoppable. And then in here, you have the like description, and then the author, 
love that stuff down there. And then here is the other side. With the three characters here. Kind of creepy looking. It's like they're old or dying or something. But I love I love this side personally for the dust cover, but I definitely so this is the exclusive cover. This is gorgeous silver foiling. And then again, you have that side. And then she looks angry over here. This is giving me um Atlantis vibes, you know, like when she gets called up in the light thing and becomes the blue person with the blue. She has like the power absorbed in her and then like night and day. I like that a lot. Okay, and then you also have it the exclusive end paper. So you have this here. Oh, sorry. And then also the stencil stenciled edging. I love this color blue. I actually might just display it like this because this is my favorite color. Um and yeah, I just love this. You got a crown and a heart. I think that might be the only thing dissuading me from displaying it that way because that's kind of creepy, but I do love it so anyways. And I love this side. Oh, it's so pretty. The sun and the moon, a crown and a heart. Um, yeah, and so then you've got the end papers. And then, oh, she's signed in like a rose gold pen too. I love that. So it's signed by the author. And then you get our inside. And then this is like what the inside of the book looks like. Definitely tracks of like an um, young adult novel feel. And then here we go. I just love that. Like so pretty. Um, it's essential edges. And then the exclusive foil hard case artwork. Okay, so I'm wondering if, like, the cover is this, and then the reversible part is this. Because it does feel like it would be done by two different artists, possibly. And then you have the exclusive foil hard case artwork. Which is by the same person who did this part. Who did the reversible dust jacket here. So that's what I'm thinking. I know like one of my books um, that I came upon recently as I was reading it actually did have like a really nice artwork to it. Like a, an art scene inside. So I was wondering if this has something similar. If I'm... flipping through it but yeah I love how beautiful this looks like it really does look super gorgeous and I definitely think I probably will display it like this actually I think that'd be cool maybe next to my Carrie Manuscope well, next to Kingdom of the Wicked because um I think it's Kingdom of the Damned right is the second one or is it Kingdom of something else Kingdom of the Feared Kingdom of the Feared, I think, is the one that's coming out, right? I don't know. I keep getting them mixed up. But the two other books in the series, in the Kingdom series, um, maybe I'll put that next to them. Because I feel like that vibe will definitely go with them, <laughs> with that theme of those books. But, oh my gosh, I love this. This was really, really good. Now I'm, I'm going to not look at the adult one. I don't want that to be spoiled for me. I want to wait till I actually get the adult box in but i am now like super crazy excited like this is amazing these were some amazing items that they gave us like some really cute unique things um that i wasn't necessarily like expecting either i loved it it's beautiful did a beautiful job i love wrath so, oh my gosh that's awesome here's the little like book thing so you can kind of see what it what would it look like too so it's how it sticks out from the in between the books like oh, that looks so cool all right thank you so much um for watching please comment like subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye